Welcome or welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be talking about two different topics today. One, maybe you already guessed it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you more about my tattoo laser removal progress because I've had nine sessions so far and um, yeah, I'm getting there. I just want to share with you what it's like to get a tattoo laser removal and also want to give you an update because I did upload a video a while ago about it. So make sure you check that out if you haven't already. I'm also gonna be talking about the Paradise white pants and they released them I think around six months ago but I realized that I never showed you those pants and today's finally the day. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I hope you enjoy, so let's dive into it. Okay, so I decided to get two of my tattoos removed around two years ago. One is this one right, right here, which is underneath my collarbone, and then there's another tattoo on my back. And um, I also have a spot here that I had treated. You probably can see it, but that was just, um, pigmentation probably from sun damage and um, I had that treated as well together with the two tattoo laser sessions that I had yesterday so it's been around 20 hours and it does look a lot worse than what it feels like yesterday I felt the burning sensation for at least four five six hours but when I got home I immediately put ice packs on the on the areas which really helps a lot. And as soon as they finish the laser, they always put an ice pack on there, cool it down. And that really helps to prevent scarring, further burning and irritation of the skin. It really helps. So make sure if you do get laser treatment done, especially tattoo laser removal, that you ice it in the first few hours. That really helps with the progress and the healing as well. The laser removal itself, it is quite painful. I have to say it is, definitely more painful than getting a tattoo. Um, the pain, how would I describe it? I would say it almost feels like a hot knife is getting dragged through your skin, but it also has the sapping feeling, like if someone or something hits you very hard. It's um, very uncomfortable, but it's not like you can't handle it like of course it's painful but at the same time it doesn't even take that long so i think the one on my back all up took maybe 10 15 minutes and there are two different types of lasers the first one is the classic tattoo laser removal which is the painful one <laughs> um, you can see a little bit of frosting that's what they call it so if they sap the skin or the area where the ink is then afterwards there's like this white coating it's a reaction of the skin, I guess. I don't know how it, how it works. But um, yeah, you can also smell like burnt skin <laughs> a little bit. It's a little bit of a progress because you have to go back every so often and um, you need to get in, I would say, for at least six to 10 sessions, depending on the tattoo, on the colors, on the ink, how deep it is in your skin, because that really depends on the tattoo artist and, and all that. So. You can't say or you can't know in the beginning when you start how many sessions you need. And I think it also depends on the skin type, how fast the tattoo disappears because you need to um, wait a while in between sessions. So in the first or in the beginning, I went there once a month, which in hindsight, I would say was too often because you need to give your body time to kind of get rid of the ink because the laser kind of shatters the pigments and then the body needs time to absorb it and transport it out. So I think that I should have waited a bit longer in between sessions and beginning because the progress wasn't that big. And then maybe I would say in the beginning, maybe wait two months. And then I had a laser session. I think the last one before this one yesterday was one and a half years ago. So I waited one and a half years and in that time, it really changed a lot. So this one here, you could hardly see it. What a shame I didn't take a picture yesterday. But <laughs> the guy that did it, I think his name is Nate, um, he actually had to look up the photo that he initially took and said, okay, I need to figure out where it is because it's so hard to see. So yeah, the first laser, as I said, is the painful one. And then he used another laser, which is supposed to help with the scarring or reduce um, the risks of, of scarring and also just helps rejuvenate the whole area. So this is 
why it's also so red. Like the second laser is the one that causes a lot of redness. Yeah, and today is, is not even that sore. It was just a little bit awkward to sleep last night because, you know, I have one tattoo on the back, one in the front, and usually I sleep on my right side. So last night I had to sleep on my left side. Um, but yeah, it already feels much better today. Usually you're supposed to put aloe vera gel on it, which I ran out of it, I didn't realize. So I used my normal moisturizer from CeraVe. Um, it's not a recommendation, but it really worked well for me. It didn't burn or anything. It's for very dry skin and um, has a very soothing effect. So it worked well for me, but yeah. Aloe vera gel is definitely a better option. Didn't ice it today. I don't feel like I need to. It's not burning anymore. I just let it heal. I make sure that I'm hydrated, that I um, apply moisturizer on the area and don't let it get too dry. And if there are also scabs or something um, over the next few days, then I won't touch them. If they fall off, they fall off, but just don't touch it. And also be careful when you have a shower in the first two days, so you shouldn't have the water blasting on that area just be a little bit careful and if you have a warm shower it will definitely burn a little bit so yeah if you have a lukewarm shower it's definitely better or if you can handle it you can also have a cold shower so the healing process is pretty straightforward um, of course you should be wearing clothes that don't cover the area or that don't rub on the area that's why I'm wearing this definitely don't go in the sun if you do go in the sun then put sunscreen on but yeah I mean that it does feel like your sunburn it pretty much is <laughs> so yeah that should be a given that you put sunscreen on especially on these areas and over the next um, three to four weeks I'm going to be super careful about that and always wear something cover it up put sunscreen on and so on this one is finished for now. So I'm pretty sure that that was the last session. The one on the back probably needs two or three more sessions because the ink is just so deep in the skin. And I used to have a skull <laughs> that plays the drums um, with drumsticks and flowers and stars around it. Um, and the stars are really deep. So those are the ones that are still quite visible. But on most of my videos, especially on Instagram, when I pole dance, um, you can't really see it from far. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, I probably need two to three more sessions. Um, yes, it is painful. If you start the process, you just got to commit because <laughs> if you have one session and then your tattoo starts to fade and then you just leave it, it just doesn't look good. If you start it, you got to commit. But if you're thinking of getting a tattoo removed, as much as I know, it's easier to get a tattoo removed, which is on the upper part of your body. Apparently it's because it's closer to your heart and it's easier for the body to get rid of the ink once it's being shattered by the laser. Because I have a tattoo here on my leg and that would take much, much longer for the body to absorb and fade over time. I wouldn't do it, especially also with this one here. This is so deep in my skin. There's no way I would even attempt laser treatment for this one because I remember how freaking painful it was when I had it done in the first place. It was my 18th birthday when I had this done and it's quite large. Um, it's a sister tattoo, so my sister has the same tattoo, which is nice. You know, you always have that connection and the same tattoo. The artist wasn't that great, to be honest. It looks a bit weird, but at the same time, it doesn't bother me at all. I just want to get rid of this one and the one on my back. I feel, or I felt like it didn't really fit my body type anymore. Like the one on the back just looked a bit off. And my idea was always to get like totally covered in tattoos. So when I started at age 18, I was like, yes, with 25, I'm going to be covered in full sleeves and all that. And I just stopped when I started pole dancing because with pole dancing, especially depending on where the tattoo is, for example, here on the side, you really have to wait a long time until it's healed, maybe even three weeks because it can rip. I just lost interest, interest in getting tattoos. And then I was like, okay, I think I don't want to get any more tattoos and now I kind of like the look of my body with less tattoos or even without tattoos. If I had another chance, I would probably, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even get tattoos in the first place. But yeah, that's just how it is um, and things change. But I do know a lot of people that have tattoos, they don't regret it and they just love them and they get more and more. And I do like tattoos. I like tattoos on other people, but just for me, 
um, especially with this one, because that was the only tattoo on my upper body. And then people would ask me, oh, what does it mean? And then because it is connected to like past trauma, uh, I just didn't want to tell people the truth, but then I also didn't want to lie about it. So now I had a copter here. So in the end for me, it was just better to get it removed. I'm really happy with the results so far. It does look very red, um, but it's gonna fade over time. In a week, you won't even be able to see it anymore. And it's also normal that after the tattoo laser removal that it looks like the tattoo goes darker, but then the body um, kind of absorbs the ink and gets rid of it. Yeah, I'm really happy. I can recommend it um, if you want to go through the pain and if you want to pay for it because it is quite expensive. I pay $200 per session and you know, I've already had quite a few sessions and I still have to get two more, two to three more. So it is very expensive, but in the end it's um, worth it if you decide to go for it and to commit to it. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'm happy to answer them for you and maybe I can do another update video on my tattoo laser removal journey if you're interested in it. But you know, it's part of my life and last time when I uploaded the video, you guys showed a lot of interest in it. So yeah, let me know down below in the comments. Wow, I just checked how long I've talked about the tattoo laser removal and it was like 13 minutes. <laughs> I don't know, I, I really think I have to edit it quite a bit and cut a few parts out because I don't know if that's even interesting to talk about it for so long. But anyway, let's move on to the next topic, which is, as I said, the paradise pants. And I'm <laughs> struggling here with my microphone, sorry. Paradise Pants and this one is the pastel collection that they released a while ago and in the pastel collection there are three different colors. One is white as you can see and then we have this cute little baby blue color and then light pink. I'm gonna take them out of the bags. You can see what they look like. Unfortunately, they don't stick to the pole that great so I could probably still wear them from time to time to time for some of the pole routines but they just not they're not very grippy and it's because they feel buttery soft and which is nice to touch but not very compatible to the pole unfortunately this is why I haven't worn them for any of my routines but maybe I will change that soon because sometimes, you know, you, of course you can do tricks where you don't need to stick to the pole with your legs and use more your upper body strength and grip strength. So yeah, I, I really like all those three colors, but my favorite is still the white one. And then my second favorite color is this baby blue. <laughs> this is so cute and you could wear it, you know, for winter spring, summer, I think pretty much all year long. If you wanted to wear them in winter because they don't have a thermal lining, you can always wear tights underneath. So that's always an option that you have. And as you might know, I'm an ambassador for a Paradise because I've been wearing their pants for so long. I'm super convinced about them. I wear them all the time. And if you want to order a pair, you can use my code Sandra or Sandra, how Aussies like to say, and then you can save 10%. Of your order. I should have put that away beforehand there. Yeah? I don't know, it's probably gonna annoy me that this was here the whole time. Yeah, any other updates so far? No, it's my birthday coming up soon this month. I'm gonna be 33 years old, young, I should say. <laughs> and to be honest, I feel really great. I feel content, I feel happy in my body, I feel like I'm stronger than ever which is a nice feeling, but because I've been training a lot, a lot of weights as well. What's a bit frustrating at the moment, oh, that has nothing to do with my birthday, but it's just on my mind because I've been shadow banned by Instagram. So my reach is like zero, my followers went down, my, re my reach went down, everything just went downhill. And if you just have a normal private Instagram account, you might not understand why it's so frustrating, but if you put content out there and you know, it takes a long time to create it. And then if you don't have reach, it's just frustrating, especially the reasons it's just, yeah, I don't know. So if you want to do me a favor, then maybe go to my Instagram account, share some of my videos so that, you know, I can reach other people as well and not just the followers because I feel like I'm stuck at the moment. It's very unfair. 
because Instagram pushes other videos or pictures of girls wearing hardly anything and that's fine and that you can really tell how Instagram pushes certain photos even for me when I go to my explore page but when I do something artistic on the pole and I have to stick to the pole somehow to, either with my bare skin which I hardly ever show or with leggings that help me to stick to the pole which is a lifesaver for me because if I don't have grip I might fall down break my neck and die it sounded a bit hard but um, yeah you can tell that I'm frustrated so you can also go to my coffee page and support me there I really appreciate it I'm not gonna put on those two colors as well unless you want me to but then you have to write it down in the comments down below and um, yeah let me quickly show you the pants today I paired them with my leopard shoes or leopard high heel boots from the soul healing I feel like it goes really well the black white and the black white and the leopard print <laughs> but if I would dance on the pole because I always want to make my legs look as long as possible I would wear white boots because then the legs look longer obviously um, these ones so it's just one color yeah I preferred for the video like this with the leopard print boots All right, guys, if you're still watching, you're a legend. Thank you so, so much. I see you in the next video. Bye bye.